subscribe. It takes a couple seconds. Hit the notification bell and hit the like button as well. Uh, be back. Hi, Andy. Hello, be back. Any other questions that you may oh. have? If not, oh. it's fine. Oh, not any question because like what happens is that I have some question and I keep watching other videos then I get the answer. <laughs> so far, I had one question that I couldn't find in videos. So what are the keywords uh, that we need to avoid uh, to get us banned? Because one of the students, they mentioned sanitizer, but I didn't get any video other than that. So keywords that you want to prevent, there's, I think there might be a list. There's, I think there's an actual list in the course, um, but I'll also give you a list of words, words like fat, weight loss, uh, um, uh, rude words, racial words, um, things that say you are, um, I don't want to say the words, but things that, you know, the you, you, way you describe people, you don't want to use words that describe people in a bad way. So I was surprised when I saw sanitizer because it's normal word I would use. Uh, you can't use COVID. Oh, okay. Vaccine. You can't use the word vaccine. Oh. Um, pyramid scheme. Um, oh, okay. Make money on love. How to become a millionaire. Oh. How to lose weight in 10 days. Okay. Because it's like a bit funny. Like I've been in this field, like dropshipping, studying over this since past two weeks and I've been getting so much information, so much information because um, I study every day, like every 20 hours, I mean, 12 hours, I guess, in a day. <laughs> Too much information for one. That's awesome, Vivek. I like the consistency. Yeah, our course is probably one of the most in-depth course out there. Like we literally answer every single question there is out there. Most courses are 10, 20. Yeah, I'm new and I really don't have any question regarding dropshipping because there's everything. I know. And it just keeps getting more and more like we constantly. Yeah, yeah. That's so the best part about this yeah. course. But I was like, it was really sad to see that uh, I searched on Google before applying for this course. And there was so negative review. I don't know why people did that. I think there were seven people. They were like totally targeting this course. There's a they lot thought. of like, there's this one hater. Yeah, that's a hero, like two, three phases. Of... Exactly. This is one hater. That is not even true because it's been one week I have been studying and I don't know why he did that. So I was really I would, sad. <laughs> I would love for you to help me out with some positive reviews if that's possible. Oh, yeah, I will. <laughs> for sure. Awesome. Uh, uh, I'll be waiting for those positive reviews. Those will help because you're right. I'll do that. I'll do that. Made, made, um, why is there only negative review? There's only seven or nine review and all of them are negative. It all comes from one or two person. Yeah. I think they made different account and then yeah. posting the same thing. Exactly. Oh. Raj. Uh, so what happened is uh, my account got uh, disabled or restricted. So uh, something along those lines, I appealed, they rejected, uh, but uh, my Facebook uh, marketing agent, which they assigned me, uh, he raised some issue up from his side and uh, they assigned me up for something like Facebook calls your age. Do you know anything about that? So I haven't been in a situation where I talk to my rep, they refer me to a different rep and they sign me up to some service for Facebook country urge. That hasn't happened to me before. Like uh, he, he's doing that to, you know, uh, get, get me unbanned. But uh, I just want to know like if that makes any difference, like if I... Uh, raise the issue to concierge service or something like that. Got it. So I have been in a situation where I've talked to my rep to ask them to remove my ban, and that definitely has a higher chance of appeal. So yes, you definitely want to always go straight to your rep when you have a Facebook ban issue, and most of the time they should be able to deal it themselves or they'll forward the issue to the person above them. That's the usual situation, yeah. And this ban is very weird because uh, 
I'm not allowed to launch new ad sets, but my old ad sets are still running and uh, making sales. Uh, and it says that my personal ad accounts are restricted, not the business manager, but somehow the ad account which I'm using under the business manager, that is also restricted. So, and on top of that, they are not telling me the actual reason for which they have banned me. So it's very confusing. Yeah, I remember we reviewed this issue um, on our last call and I talked about how it's actually a good thing that you have your business still active. But hopefully the agent, the, the face of rep can solve the issue for you and you win the appeal. Yeah, I hope so because uh, he himself is confused. That's why I think he raised it to the technical team. I'm just waiting for them. Honestly, I wish that, wish that they just give me a decision right away. At least I can start rebranding and use another account for, for making profits again. If you're in limbo and you have a lot of time to spend, create something that's completely independent using like another Facebook account. And if you, your appeal goes through, now you have two independent accounts and stores. And if they yeah. don't go through, you have a head start on that second VM. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get you. Like I just have some hopes from the previous account because uh, I have plenty of data over there. So it would be, you know, nice to start from where I left off instead of doing it from scratch again. I agree. Thanks, Andy. You're welcome. Also, Andy, I, re uh, I passed my 100, 100K in sales mark as well. Oh, shit. congratulations. That's a huge milestone. Six figures. How much were you yeah, having when you first started? They have those fast. Uh, yeah, I already had, like, I think of around probably 50K in sales, uh -huh. like, I think last year. But now it's, like, this year is, like, probably 50K as well. So about uh, it's 102000 $102, dollars Dude, that's amazing. Congratulations. Share a screenshot on the news feed on studying.com. That'll motivate a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that later on. And also some, like, productive things that, you know, we talked about the pr how to be more yeah. productive things that sure. I've been impl implementing into my life. Um. So one for like Chrome, like, you know, when you're like, you get, get on Chrome, you could go to settings and you could change the what uh, domain you see, like what website you see. So I configure it to every time I click on the Chrome, it goes to like my Trello and my calendar to see like what's going on and what I need to get done and my store and everything like that. So I feel like that would be beneficial and also like music as well. So because you, you go out and you play music and you just keep going. And I apply the same thing to my iPhone. So you could create shortcuts as well. And like for your alarm, you could set a playlist instead of having that uh, Apple Apple's um like default ringtone. You use Spotify playlist, or is it just Apple Music play playlist? Uh, you can use actually any playlist. You just gotta uh, uh create a shortcut on that. Whoa. Okay. I wanna. I'm gonna write that down. Oh, I wanna. I wanna wake it's up. That's music. Yeah, I can send you. I'll I'll send you a screenshot as well how mine set up because I have YouTube music and then it's pretty simple to do it. Well, two things I want to also add on is one for my wake up, you could put in either get a smart light bulb or a smart switch where I have my light slowly turn on at 8.30 every day. So that's one thing that gets lets you slowly wake up. And two, there's this app called, let's see what it's called um remove youtube recommended videos so that's the name of the chrome extension and basically every time i go to youtube my home feed is just nothing so i can only search for specific videos i'm looking for on youtube and i can't get sucked into the news feed and recommended videos that's actually very beneficial i get dragged into that so many times yeah i'm i'm gonna use that right now because i have the premium because i listen to music on there but then there's no ads and when i see something like interesting on the recommend i just click on it like you're trained that way to click on it but yeah i'll get on that yeah so helpful and with yeah and with the light thing i get like 
because of my windows like right there like the sunlight comes in so i don't really need the light so i'll i'll just let the open up windows up and when the sunlight hits in it's like my at 8 30 i'll just wake up yeah accordingly yeah that's a good idea yeah yeah uh, that's it for right now uh i'll just schedule a call once everything's good doing good on my end on plus the new products and all that i'm excited to take it to the next level Great call, guys. I'm going to have to head off now. I've got a podcast coming up. Really appreciate everyone joining. Great stuff. Um, if you guys can, I'd love for you guys to help me with some positive reviews. On yeah, I'll do that today, for sure. Me and my friend. Inda, Abraham, Naraj. If you guys could go to my um, studying.com trust pilot or Google reviews or whatever, help me with some positive reviews um, because, yeah, there's just only negative reviews from like one or two person where they created 10 accounts. And if you guys can leave some positive reviews, that would be amazing. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Thanks Andy. Yeah. What's the appropriate shipping time? Because I know there's some pro uh, shippers out there that. Kind of